no problem with the spruce goose. No, I'll tell you. Right now, what, what has happened is, from the last build video on YouTube to the finished model, I've lost part of the video. Video Studio 6, I was having trouble with, so I've transferred it over to my hard drive, uh, my, my slave drive, done what I had to do, went to pull it back off of the uh, slave drive, and it started clicking, and then stopped responding, and I can't get my videos off of it at all. Uh, I don't know what to do, but that's it. it. The slave drive is now US. That's a terabyte down the drain. I'll have to go and get a new one. Uh, Lucky enough, my main hard drive's fine. Uh, but I will have to replace that other one soon. That's definitely, that's if that one's gone, the two may be on its way out as well. So I'll have to get a new two terabyte hard drive, maybe three terabytes, something like that. Or something a bit bigger, maybe. And uh, transfer my files over from there. Anyway, like I said, I lost what part of the video. But I do have the final video for this. The Spruce Goose. She's all done now. I may have a little bit of video on this and I'll put that on right now. Okay, last bits. I must up the canopy, I've given it a spray of the internal colour. I've then let that dry, I put a white primer on top of that. I've also started on the props. Now these I've got to be very delicate with. There's not one prop that I haven't broken. I've painted the the four blades black. I've got to do the silver on the spinner yet. That's my next job. And I've also got to blacken the back half of the propellers as well. So that's the last bit of painting on those to do and I will get around to doing that. I had a problem here and here with uh, some depressions in the plastic and um, a bit of shrinkage on the filler. Um, well, I think it's well I sanded it off and the filler sanded out more than the plastic did. But I've had to redo this again. So I rubbed it down, filled it, re-sanded it, put the panel lines back in and we sprayed it with white. It looks okay with white. It actually looks fine with white. The test comes when I put the silver on. That will be the test if that if those marks come back, I'll be pulling the rest of my hair out. <sighs> and of course, the canopy will be in as well. So when I spray this, I can spray the canopy at the same time. See you in a bit, as soon as I've got this all done. Well, it was not much, I know, but it was a bit. So, um, she is complete. And here's a completed video. Uh, beauty shots, basically. So, here they are now. you enjoyed this build I have it's been very it's been a very quick build even though I've had problems with it um, with the top and that uh, not much not much problems at all really I, I call them problems they're just little niggles that I wanted to fill um, fill the, the little notches up because I, I felt it looked better you know I don't want to leave them in um, to me that's sort of a no-no but I had to do it uh, I've done that and the stand's nice I don't I haven't explained the stand but the stand is actually all clear and I left it all clear and I've glued it together with white wood glue 
uh, PVA glue, I should say. The front nameplate on it has been, what I did was I sprayed it up with a matte, um, with the car primer, uh, white car primer. Left it overnight to really harden off, and you have to. You can't do this like, oh it's dry now, I'll do it. You can't do that. Leave it overnight, a good eight hours to dry and harden really nicely off. Then get a light uh, sanding stick, you know, this skinny sticks or the wider ones, whatever, and sand off the top. Polish it off, use the polishing sticks, polish it off, and it goes back to the silver plastic. And you've got a nice edge, and it, the name's all standing out nice and proud. And that's how I did that. And again, I, I tapped that on with PVA glue uh, onto the front of it. So that's it finished. The um, props. Dare, I hardly dare touch these things because they break so much. Um, are all loose, you see. So I'm going to leave them loose. I'm not going to glue them in. Like I said, they're very delicate, and even a breath could break them. Uh, and I broke. I think I've broken every one of them. I've, well, at least one prop off of each of them I've broken off, and uh, I've managed to glue them back on again, nice and easily. Actually, they're stronger now than they were before. Oh dear, excuse me, I'm getting a little bit tight now. So, that's the end of the group build. Hope you enjoyed it. See you all soon, and here's some photos of the spruce goose.